dear students, so today we will be trying to complete and obtain a expression for the configurational integral okay, in terms of the uh, your Taylor series expansion we have seen earlier. So, today what we will do, we will take up our discussion where we left. So, we discussed the beta 1 that is a type of irreducible integral. So, now how to incorporate that beta 1 into the other terms, we will see that and also we will see some other terms of irreducible integrals such as beta 2. So, overall what we will see in this lecture is we will derive expression for virial equation of state. So, ultimately the content is very uh, compressed, so it is just a mathematical derivation, we will see the virial equation of state and uh, ultimately we want to see all these expressions for irreducible integral. So, uh, you have to be good in mathematics uh, for uh, doing this suppose beta 1, beta 2. So, beta 1 we already saw in the first uh, lecture of this module. Now, we will also see in this case beta 2, but prior to that we will see how this beta 1 is incorporated in the expression of the configurational integral. So, configurational integral, so we can see one thing uh, just I want to repeat like we saw this expression beta 1, beta 1 equals to so, I will write both the rectangular and the spherical coordinates. So, spherical coordinates means you are uh, integrating over the entire volume where f i j. So, we have reduced it into a two component distance parameter. So, in this case you will be having d r i and d r j which if is transformed into a spherical coordinates. So, it will be 4 pi into 0 to infinity f i j which is a function of r i j into r i j whole square. So, r i j is nothing but the distance between the two atoms into d r i j. So, this we have already got on the last class that is the last uh, lecture. So, now uh, we will work worry about the terms that is how to incorporate this beta into the expression for configuration integral. So, if you recollect we got this expression. So, you have the double summation i j then you have the f i j term f i j then uh, d r 1 d r 2. So, these are all vectors and goes to d r n. So, ultimately we are going to find the expression for this term. So, if you see this entire term this entire term how many terms of f i j will be there? So, if there are n number of atoms. So, if you see how many terms that will be equal to nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. So, it will be total of n into n minus 1 by 2. So, it means these many terms will have beta in it. So, ultimately you have to apply this beta term for the evaluation of each of the term which is involving f i j. Now, we can just neglect the other terms. Well, the minus 1 we can write it it is order of n square by 2. So, because you know you n is very very high in the case of uh, I mean it is the order of Avogadro's number. So, it is a huge number. So, you can neglect that you can write down simply n square by 2. So, mm, you this you can write down as n square by 2 ok. Some simplification is required to reduce these integrals. So, this is one such simplification and we will be using a similar such exercise for other irreducible integral ok. So, this is the first one. So, what we can do is then this expression this this term this expression across all the volume summation i summation j f i j d r i d r 1 d r 2 d r n is equal to then it will be nothing but because from this expression we are getting v into beta 1 this expression because it will be operated only on r 1 and 2 if we are uh, assuming the function as f 1 2. So, remaining there will be n minus 2 v terms ok. So, n minus 2 means v into n minus 2 and you have a v here. So, v into n minus 2 into v is equal to v into n minus 1. So, that is why just v into n minus 1 will come here v raised to the power of n minus 1, then you multiply it with n square by 2 because these many times it will appear and then obviously this beta 1 vector beta 1. So, this is the expression or 
if I take only this expression, so you will get what are the terms. So, in the original expression, we are now having two terms, 1 plus double summation fij, then there is a four summations, then fij into fi dash j dash. So, for the first two sum, so because if you recollect from the previous lecture, z it will be a function of nvt, so it will be vn, then the mixed terms, fij terms. How many fij terms will be there? There will be n square by 2 fij terms. So, it will be multiplied by vn minus 1 and multiplied by the irreducible integral beta 1. So, I can write down this term as vn, let us multiply v on both sides, let us multiply v on the numerator and on the denominator, so it will be vn, so it will be n square by 2 beta 1 by v. So, till now based on the cross terms, this is this term. But this is a part of the solution. We you have other terms also. So, what are those other terms? Let us go for the third term. That is, when you have ij, you have multiplication of another function. So, fij into fij. So, let us say ij, there will be two instances. Let us see what are those instances. So, this is only a single term, fij. Now, we will have two functions, fij and fi dash j dash. So, let us see how do we evaluate that. So, this is now we are talking about this term. So, if you recollect, we wrote this term, I am not writing it down again. So, this is a third term of the configuration integral. So, there will be four summations. So, obviously, this is i, this is j, this is i dash, this will be j dash. So, the complications are due to the term that f12 is equal to f21. So, you should not count these functions again and again. That is why i dash, j dash, i and j I have written. These are the different indices. So, if you multiply this with fij, we did this earlier, that is a two term equation. Now, I will multiply it f into i dash j dash, i dash j dash. It means I will have to product with those terms which has indices i dash j dash. Now, this i dash j dash can be equal to i and j or it can be different than i j. We will see both the cases one by one. So, and the remaining will be as it is dr1, dr2 like that the drn. So, this is pure mathematics and nothing is to be uh, read into this. So, it is we are using slowly you will moving towards the graph theory for calculation of this integrals. Now, uh, as I told you there will be two expressions when both i j i dash j dash are different. This is one expression and b there will be another case when either i is equal to i dash or j equal to j dash. So, either of these two if you want to substitute here will give a different expression. So, let us see the first one let us see the case a when all are different mm. case a. So, if case a is there so it means I can write down this v into v so, it will be something like this, let us say f12, f34 and then you will be having dr1, dr2, drn, okay, this expression. So, this I can write down because it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, other terms related to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then till n. So, it will be v into n minus 4 terms if I operate across the entire volume, it will be individually, it will be volume. So, volume times you are multiplying into n minus 4. So, it will be v to the power of n minus 4, this expression, v to the power of n minus 4 and then you have as it is the entire expression. So, it is f12, f34, dr1, dr2, dr3 and dr4. Now, this r1, r2, r3, 4, these are all, uh, no, these are uh, dependent on the coordinates of 1, 2, 3, 4. So, they are independent in nature because if I move the distances between 1 and 2, will not alter distance between 3 and 4 or distance between 3 and 4 will not alter distance between 1 and 2. So, they are independent in nature. So, I can write like this way. So, or I can do one thing, I can again further separate out these variables. So, I can write down one term 
which is equal to this F12 term. Okay, this is first term and you have another term when it is integrated across the entire volume it will be F34 then dr3 into dr4 is another term. So, because this 3 r4 won't operate on one, f12, similarly r1, r2 won't operate on 3, 4. So, I have separated out. Now, let us do some further simplification. So, if we do further simplification, so I will get this term as equal to vn minus 4 as it is, which was earlier, vn minus 4, it will be nothing but the entire expression, I just write it again, this f12 dr1 by dr2, this is one expression and then you have double integral v f34 dr3 into dr4, this is the other equation. This is from the previous slide only I am writing it down, nothing else. So, it is nothing but this is beta 1 into v, so it is vn minus 4 into so, this is nothing, what is this? Because we just now derived, it will be beta 1 into v and this is also, again it will be beta 1 upon v, okay. So, just recollect what is beta or oh, beta 1, I just write you for your convenience, 1 upon v, f i j, f i j into d r i d j, d r i by d r j okay so this is beta 1 so i have write the beta 1 beta 1 by v beta 1 by v whole um, so it can make sense so now what i do is i will further simplify it so what you have is simply you will be having v n into beta 1 by v whole square okay so it means any this cluster diagram I can in the in initial phase we define the cluster diagram to filled ball and connected to each other. Now I can write down in this case this is one cluster diagram this is one cluster diagram. So I can write down in this manner this so this is all and this another one. What does it mean? If suppose this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3, this is 4. So, the integration between 1 and 2 is across the entire atom 1 and 2 and which is having an interaction u 1 2. All this u 1 2 in the similar way u 3 4 integral over the spheres 3 and 4, it is there in beta 1. This f i j is a function of e into the power of minus u i j which is the intermolecular potential. So, this is the cluster diagram representing this expression. Okay. Now, how many terms of this? What is the number of terms which is having this type of expression? You can have 1, 2 and then 3, 4. Then you can also have 1, 2, 4, 5 or 1, 2, 5, 6. Like that, how many terms? How many possible combinations will be there? We have to elaborate that. So, we number those terms and write how many terms are possible. So, it means, but there is a restriction. So, the restriction is i j. So, obviously, i j you have one term, another i dash, j dash is the other term. So, I have a put a restriction which is j dash is greater than i dash and i dash is greater than i and j is equal to greater than i. So, this restriction I have inserted. With this restriction, if you do the mathematics properly, you will see these many number of terms will be present n into n minus 1 by 2 into n into n minus 1 by 2 minus 1. These many terms will be present. I am not showing the mathematics. So, what I can do is because these n terms are very huge in the order of Avogadro's number. So, it becomes this term is n square by 2, this will be n square by 2, forget about minus 1, this is very small as compared to this first term. So, n square by 2 into n square by 2 becomes n to the power of 4 by 4 and then you multiply by 2 it becomes n to the power of 4 by 8. So, this is the number of possible terms having the cross terms in it. 
So this two factorial nowadays why it is include so that this two factorial two factorial this is to ensure to ensure to ensure that f12 f34 and f34 and f12 are not are not counted twice okay that's why this two factorial so these similar terms should not be counted so that's why you have this two factorial term so now what i will do so what we have now got both the terms what is first is how many terms are there and what is the single term so you multiply by how many terms into single term that will be the total term so it is what are we getting is vn into beta 1 by this is the contribution to the then configurational integral into n4 by 8 this is the expression so this is the contribution and this is the number of terms contribution of one term of one term and this is the number of terms till now what we have seen all the indices are different now what happens if the indices are same so if the indices are same it will be a subset of this n4 by 8 okay because that is also there inside but we should see what are the contribution of those is the contribution higher than this or lower than this if it is higher we have to take that expression if it is lower we have to take this expression okay because ultimately you need an expression or a value which actually subsumes all the possible indices so let us see those terms where i equal to j so if i want to write so if we call that quadratic terms so what is the quadratic term so it is something like this v this is the term f12 f then let's say f13 okay and you do it on all this dr1 dr2 drn this type of expression sorry this should be one not i huh so this is the type of integral so this is grammatically it will be written like this in the cluster diagram so what is this integral says i am making it filled uh, spheres for a reason what is that reason it means suppose this is atom one this is atom two this is atom three so atom one is connected with atom three and atom one is also connected to atom two so we have to do an integral on the entire atom three uh, entire atom 1, entire atom 2, which are connected by a potential u12 and u13 respectively. This is what the integral means. So, if this is the integral, so let us now evaluate it. So, so I can now take out because it depends upon the coordinates of 1, 2, and 3. So, you can take out the remaining n minus 3 terms outside because it does not depend upon the function f12 and f13. So, it will be having a term of v to the power of if I, you, you are integrating about the entire volume so every term will contribute to v so n minus th three terms will contribute to v to the power of n minus three then it becomes simply like this v v and v f12 f13 dr1 dr2 drn this is the term so what you do is that there is an issue now you cannot do this integral directly so you have to put something as an origin so which atom will you put as an origin because the one is appearing both sides so the origin will be origin for this integral origin of the integral will be of the integral shall be one atom one okay then what you do you define the distances with respect to atom 1 so it will be r1 to r13 that is the way to go about because they are related to each other because r12 because if you remove one so your 1 3 and 1 2 distance will change so you have to put something as the origin so one here is the origin okay so f12 obviously is a function of only r12 and f 1 3 is a function of r 1 3 this is the reason we are not taking the direction directly so let us evaluate this 
So, what are the quadratic terms? So, we write down the terms from the previous expression v into n minus 3, the triple volume, volume, volume and the volume. So, it will be f 1 2, f 1 3, d r 1, d r 2, d r 3, okay, this expression which is equal to v to the power of n minus 3 into what I will do, I will take dr1 outside, okay, dr1 I will put it outside, okay, and then the remaining integral, two integrals I will define in terms of 1, 2 and 1, 3, so it will be f12, f13, so d of r12, r of 1, 2 and d of r of 1, 3. Okay. So, uh, there are two things I should mention here that is moving particle 2 or atom 2 whatever particle atom is the same moving particle 2 does not change the interatomic distance R13 and same thing if I write down moving particle 3 does not change the interatomic distance what it will be R12 okay. So, these are the two things you should be mentioning and properly. So, the two variables are two variables what are those two variables R12 and R13 are independent. So, if they are only independent, then only you can write like this, otherwise, you cannot write because the, then the Jacobian of this transformation is unity. The Jacobian of this transformation is unity is unity okay so then what i will do i will just write down like this so it will be because you have another v coming out here so v multiplies by v n minus 3 it will be v n minus 2 so i write a v n minus 2 then you will have a double integral across the entire volume v you have f 1 2 you have f 1 3 d r 1 2 d r 1 3 this expression or I can write down as V n minus 2 into V F 1 2 D R 1 2 because F 1 2 will operate on D R 1 2 and F 1 3 will operate on D R 1 3, 1 3 will operate on D R 1 3, okay, these two. So, you know what are the individual values we have already studied, it will be nothing but V n minus 2 into beta 1 by V, this is beta 1 by V and this is again is equal to beta 2 beta 1 by v. So, you have v n minus 2 into beta 1 by v whole square this is the expression. So, uh, since I have taken here v, so there will be 2 because this integral is beta 1 into v by beta n into v. So, it, there will be another you multiply with v square. So, you have to do with v square multiplication because this is beta 1 into v, this extant expression is beta 1 into v. So, that v actually also get multiplied. So, it will be v n by beta 1 by v whole square. Okay. Now, how many terms are there? The configurational term, how many terms are there? So, if you see uh, number of terms will be equal to of these type where i, j are same. So, it will be n into n minus 1 by 2 into n into 2 only by 2 minus 1. So, this will be close to n cube by 8, but uh, we in the previous one we have already seen when uh, i j i and j this is there we have already found out the expression that is was n to the power of 4 by 8. So, number of terms is more when you consider i j i dash j dash as 
different indices, separate indices. If these are same, so you have to take up this n4 by 8. So it means that the entire integral that is, so n4 is greater than n3. So it means this integral summation, double summation of fij of an fi dash j dash to dr1 dr2 drn bar will be equal to so just to mention it so it will be j dash greater than i dash and uh, i dash greater than i and j is greater than i so this expression will be equal to nothing but 1 by 2 into n square by 2 whole square by beta 1 by v whole square e to v to the power of n. Okay? So this is the expression because we have used the expression n4 plus the power of 8 and then n square by 2 because I have written n4 to the power of 8 as n square by 2 whole square into half and beta 1 by v square into vn we have taken it from the expression on the previous slide. So this is the number of times multiplied by the expression. So overall now when we are considering these two the mixed terms that is quadratic terms of the function we have seen fij we have seen fij into fi dash j dash. So now we are in a position to write down so this is equal to vn z then becomes I take vn common 1 plus this already we know n square by 2 into beta 1 by v okay plus now this term will come that is n square by 2 whole square by beta 1 by v whole square this is the term which is coming okay so obviously this term you know this term is nothing but these type of terms while these terms the terms related to these type of terms integrals just to make your mix simpler so this is the expression for the configurational entropy now let us see the higher order terms so i will not do each and every term what are the different higher order terms let's say there are three atoms all these three atoms located with each other let us see triplet term so what you do is here you include all the triplet terms all the triple product terms triple product terms so it means f i j into f i dash j dash into f i of double dash j double dash these type of terms when you do a summation so there are many such ways of writing is one let's say in one of them none of the indices is repeated none of indices is repeated if none of them are repeated it means i j i dash j dash i double dash j double dash all are different so this will be some sort of expression something like this v v it will be f12 f34 f56 okay then again you have this term so this term then i can write down as so obviously it will work on the six different uh, f56 sorry this is five of six so six terms will go out so it will vn minus six and uh, you will be left with f of 1 2 f 3 4 f 5 6 of d of r 1 r 2 r 3 and d of r 6 so r 6 terms will be there so if you do that again uh, you can separate out the variables f 1 2 into d r 1 f 3 4 into like that you can do because they are not related to each other so you can uh, do that and if you do that you will get beta 1 by v in each of the cases beta 1 by v beta 1 by v and beta 1 by v so it will be the expression this will be vn into beta 1 by v whole cubed 
okay and how many number of terms number of terms you will see is n6 number of terms will be there so this 3 factorial by 8 so these are the number of terms why 3 factorial because you should not count 1 2 3 and uh, 3 4 5 they are same because indices are repeated so in order to avoid that over counting of the states written like this okay so if i want to write down in terms of uh, cluster diagram it will be something like this then uh, one is repeated one of the indices one is repeated so let's say this is one one type one is repeated which one one means one indices is repeated so it will be something like this if i want to write down in terms of expression so v v it will be f12 f23 f56 this type of expression so dr1 dr2 so if you do that mathematics correctly so this is c2 is repeated here only one of the indices is repeated so you will again get uh, expression equal to vn into beta 1 by v the whole cubed into number of terms how will it be the number of terms 4 upon 3 factorial okay this is the number of terms and this is the expression so i can write down this expression as something like this in cluster function plus so this is one term plus because these three are why are they connected because one two two three they are common to each other and f5 6 is separately this is one is repeated now here let us write the third one two is repeated two indices are repeated if two are repeated then it will be something like this f12 f23 f34 so two and three are repeated then you will have dr1 dr2 and dr drn okay so this will be then become equal to vn to the power of again you will have beta 1 by v to the power of cube so your expression is in the cube terms but your number of terms will change the number of terms in this case if you do the mathematics correctly is n4 by 2 into 1 by 3 factorial so what are the number of terms here you see the maximum number of terms in way is the point where none of the indices is repeated let us see if there are any other terms so if i want to draw this cluster diagram so you have to make like this so all are connected so if it is 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4. All are connected to each other. And when 3 is repeated, what about this? When 3 indices are repeated? When 3 are repeated, then this will take the expression of this type, V, V. Then uh, it will be Vn minus or I can write down the expression first f12, f13, f14. Then dr1, dr2, all these are drn. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 1. So it means 1 is repeated connected to, 1 is also connected to 3, 1 is also connected to 4. So it's like atomic uh, connection if one assumes. So if that is true, then this expression takes the form. So it will be vn again the expression is same now in all the cases expressions are same but number of terms is different so it will be n to the power of 4 into 3 factorial into 8 so this i can assume it like this way this one this cluster so this is atom 1 this is let's say atom 3 and this is atom 4 so this is a these are different cluster diagrams so out of all this this first term subsumes all other terms so we will be using these many number of terms multiplied by the value so other than these triplet terms there are also other triplet terms which are closed types what are these let me tell you 
So, this closed type of diagrams are something like this, this type of diagram. This type of diagram. So, it means you have, uh, let us say, you 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, 3 is connected to 1. Now, here you cannot do that Jacobian transformation is unity because if you select any one of them as origin, the other distance changes. So, distance between 1 and 2 will change distance between 1 and 3 or 1 and or 2 and 3 will change the distance if you move either 2 or 3 or 1, any one. So, all the interatomic distance are dependent on each other. This is a different type of irreducible integral. We cannot write this in terms of beta 1. So, there will be a new integral coming out that is beta 2. So, this integral I can write down as equal to V n minus 3 into integrals, triplet integral, let us say f12, f23 and f of 13. So, it will be dr1, dr2 and dr3. Okay. So, you can take any of them as 1, 2 and 3. So, this is a type of integral and the value of this expression beta2 I can write down as here. I am introducing a new definition 2 factorial into V which is equal to the closed integrals across the entire volume that is F i j, F i j, F j k and F of i k d r i d r j d r k. This is the expression. So, we have seen beta 1, now we have seen beta 2. Okay. This is the expression. So, it means that uh, uh, just keep in mind that this R1, R2, R3, I cannot write in terms of R12, R23 and R13. Okay. Why? So, they are not 3 independent, 3 independent integrals like earlier. Just keep it in mind, huh? dependent integrals. So, these are not 3 independent integrals because I cannot do this transformation. Why? Because all the atoms interatomic positions depend on the other atoms. If I change, keep one as origin the other when you cannot keep one as origin because that will change the all the three of atoms. So, it is cannot be connected, cannot connect to beta 1 which we did earlier. Okay? So, it means how many terms and what is the expression for this if I want to write it down. So, it means this terms is equal to, so the entire sum if I want to write down so, general number of terms which is having this type of integrals, number of terms which will having beta 2, that will be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial, which is roughly comes out to be n 3 by 3 factorial. Okay. And uh, so, now till now, this is the total number of possible terms. This will be equal to what is the total number of terms possible? Total number of terms uh, without including beta 1, beta 2. This is terms of terms of beta 2 is equal to total number of terms. What is the total number of terms of triplets? That will be 1 by 3 factorial n into n minus 1 by 2 into n into n minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by n into n minus 1 by 2 minus 2. Okay. So, these are the total number of terms, total number of triplet terms. Minus, obviously, here you have to minus those terms which are of beta 1, which is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 then n into n minus 1 minus 1 
by 2 then n into n minus 1 minus 2 so or what I can do is instead of writing this expression I can just write this let us say term 1 so number of terms of beta 1 will be equal to this is term 1 so nothing but term 1 minus let us say this is term 2 minus term 2 so what is that term what is that equations so if you see most of these terms are subsumed in this term which is equal to n cube by 3 factorial so it means the entire integral of f i j f i dash j dash f of i of double dash f of j of double dash dr1 dr2 drn so this will be the sum of the terms which we just now discussed other than terms of beta 1 and terms of beta 2 so what are terms of beta 1 we did earlier so we saw which are the term which is contributing to the maximum value so that is this term 1 by 3 factorial it was actually n to the power of 6 by 8 so it will be i am writing it as n square by 2 to the power of 3 and then i have written because those term which can be converted to beta 1 these are those terms then those will be the expression which are terms related to closed integral containing beta 2 so the expression is equal to this term plus terms related to beta 2 so that will be we know the number of terms for that is n cube by 3 factorial so i will write here n cube by 3 factorial into vn and then a term which will write the beta 2 expression by v square so this is the ex entire expression for the mixed terms so mixed terms means you have three functions sorry this is not fij this is actually let me write it properly this is actually fi of double dash j of double dash okay this is f i of single dash j of single dash so the triplets integral integral of the triplets so maybe i write it the original expression so this is the integral of the triplets is equal to terms consisting beta 1 which is not closed in nature and terms containing beta 2 which is closed in nature as above so this is the entire expression for this so this particular term i will add to the terms of beta 1 which we have obtained earlier in terms of configurational entropy so it means mm, the term the triple summation terms if i want to write down here again fij f of i dash j dash f of i double dash j double dash to n is equal to 1 by 3 factorial of n square by 2 whole cubed just the previous expression i am writing nothing else whole cubed plus n cubed by 3 factorial into v to the power of n by 2 factorial beta 2 into v square okay this is the term so it means uh, this is the term which is due to this term as i told you in the previous uh, uh, slides and this term is the term where it is due to these type of expressions okay so it means it this particular first term subsumes all different indices whether they are separate or together so you cannot have a value more than this for approximation i am writing the expression which has the highest number of terms which actually correspond to this type of graphs equation that is to this type of diagrams so now we can write down the entire expression 
So, we write down z equals to v n 1 plus n square by 2 into beta 1 by v plus 1 by 2 factorial. This is the first initial term which we have already found out from the first two expansion beta 1 by v whole square then plus 1 by 3 factorial n square by 2 whole cubed beta 1 by v whole cubed. Okay. Now, let us suppose we do not consider this expression here. Okay. Let us for ease of complexity remove those expression with beta 2 because their contribution is very, very less. So, we stop until this expression. Okay. So, it means if you look this expression carefully, this is nothing but a series expansion, exponential expansion of the first four series of e to the power of this expression. Okay. So, it means I can write down as this is the exponential function expression of exponential of n square by 2 into beta 1 by v. Okay. These are the first four terms. You can write down here first four terms of the expansion of exponential term of this expression. First four terms. We will worry about beta 2 later. So, it means I can write down now I have an expression for z the configuration and integral as v to the power of n into exponential of n square by beta 1 into 2 v. So, with so you can express the configurational integral in terms of beta 1. So, this is the expression for the configurational integral when you take only beta 1 I am not including beta 2 we will see later what is the effect of beta 2. The similar analogy, but let us make it very simple here we have this beta 2 terms which is the closed shell integrals. So, now we have got the expression for the real equation of state we are able to do if we know z. Now, we have got a value of z. Let us write what will be the thermodynamic properties from this configurational integral. So, that will be. So, as you know the expression is P equals to pressure you know that is k t dou l n q by dou v. So, it is nothing but k t into dou ln z by dou v because uh, only z will have terms of volume. If you remember the partition function q, it is an expression into some volume. So, that expression does not have any terms of volume. So, you only have expression of volume in the in configuration integral z. So, that is why I can do the derivative of only z. So, other things will cancel out. So, this will be equal to k t then dou of dou v just insert the value of z from the previous expression it will be n ln v plus n square beta 1 by 2 v at constant n and t this is the expression or I can uh, write down p as equal to n k t is outside v of 1 minus n of beta 1 by 2 v. I do the differentiation that is the derivative of this expression this expression separately and this is the expression I am getting because there is v here it will be a negative sign that is why it is coming a negative sign or I can reduce this n k t by v equal to 1 minus I can write down in terms of beta 1 into rho because n by v is rho this n by v n by v is equal to rho. I will write down the expression in terms of density because we are always talking about gases dilute gas, medium concentrated gas and dense gas. So, it means always we express in terms of density because that is what the video equation of state is written in terms of density. So, I have converted to density. So, if I convert in density, so we get p v by n k t is equal to 1 minus half e to beta 1 
beta 1 into rho. So, this is the important conclusion we got from this entire exercise that is I can write down PV by NKT in terms of density. Now, let us compare to the classical thermodynamics term. So, for that first that is the, the second virial till second virial coefficient first virial coefficient we are writing that expression. So, we know what is B2T the second virial coefficient the second virial coefficient is nothing it means if I want to uh, write down because uh, you know this term PV by NKT if I want to compare with the conventional term till the second term it is nothing but B2T into rho from classical thermodynamics we know this expression neglecting higher order terms B3, B4. Here also I am neglecting beta 2, beta 3. So, I compare these two terms like terms it means beta 2t the so expression for the second virial coefficient is nothing but minus half into beta 1 that is it. So, if you know the irreducible integral beta 1 you take the negative of and half it you will get beta 2 this is what the way. So, or I can write down in terms actual value minus half integral of e to the power of minus u r by k t. Now, I am inserting the beta expression d r 1 or if I write in terms of spherical coordinates it will be 0 to infinity e to the power of minus u by k t. The u is a function of r ok u r by k t into r square. So, this will be minus 1 into r square into d r or I can get equal to so b 2 t is equal to 2 pi into 0 to infinity 1 minus e to the power of minus u r by k t into r square into d r. So, this is the expression this is the expression you need to have to evaluate to evaluate b 2 t. So, this gives the Virial coefficient. So, this is the Virial equation of state. We have derived the Virial equation of state as the Virial coefficient. So, this is all about the Virial coefficient, but till beta 1. We now in the next lecture what we will do? We will take the effect of beta 2 also and see if it makes much difference. So, this is where we stop the lecture because we have now found out an expression of ideal equation of state from the irreducible integral beta 1. So, now we see how these indices can play and contribute to the overall expression for the compressibility factor z or the configurational integral. So, again I will ask you to go through chapter 7 and read the first two sections where the derivation of the entire expression for different cluster diagrams or the irreducible integrals are given. Thank you. Mm -hmm.